In this video, I'm gonna be going over part three of our double scheme. I'm gonna show you how to absolutely destroy your opponent whenever they are using the meta Mabel defense in Madden 21. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is completely focused on helping people become the best Madden players they could possibly become. And if you're looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. Now the video we're breaking down today is from our New England Patriots offensive guide. If you enjoy the video and you want to get the entire New England Patriots offensive playbook guide, I break down every single formation in depth in that guide. We go over U trips and ace slot and ace close and every single thing in New England including the trips tied in and of course the full scheme of this doubles wide flex. This is a very, very fun offense to run, and if you have not gotten the New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description if you want to get it and learn how to run this offense. Now, this slot cross play is one of my uh, favorite passing concepts in this year's game. I think it's probably the best passing concept overall um, when you think about how it's going to really work together. But we're going to focus in on one. This is a very good quick snap play. Um, it's very good, especially if your tight end is on the short side of the field. So like if you're on the right hash mark, this is a really, really good play. So all we're going to do is we are going to, I'm just gonna set up my meta Mabel coverage. You're gonna see how we can completely glitch out this uh, 30 yard flat zone. All we're gonna do is put the running back on an option route. That's it, and we're snapping the ball, easy. And what you're gonna see is this flat zone is not gonna do a darn thing to this, cro this crosser. Uh, most of the time what people are going to do is they're going to trust that their 30 yard cloud flat is going to stop any crossing route any corner route that you might have in your offense but if you take a look at this um, you're going to see this is really really cool so um, this running back on this option route will completely glitch this out so you see i got the option route. he sits now watch this is a 30 yard flat but watch where his eyes go watch his eyes snap the ball watch right there he's looking his vision, snap, vision, this fade route in combination with this running back hitch, and he's frozen in time. Literally, you'll look, he's literally frozen. He's just standing there, and as you can see, it leaves all of this grass over here to be able to throw this crosser for an easy read. This is insanely effective against Mabel coverage, and most people are not going to expect this, especially with the fact that you've been throwing the ball to the tight end a lot. In this offense, you've been taking your underneath a lot. Um, you've been hitting them quick. They know they have to basically climb with the tight end, and then this is going to happen. So what you're going to what you're going to create is a natural high low between the the tight or the crosser and the back. So if the user the back, you throw to the crosser. The back is a nice check down read, um, or if the user the the crosser, which is pretty likely they're going to do that once they think once you hit them once or twice. If they use the crosser, then you throw to the running back. Now, this is another element that this is going to create. And again, they might do something like put, you know, this guy here in a, in a yellow or something. I don't know what they're going to do, right? But what you can do now is this dig route to Mike Evans is super, super glitchy. So you're going to see he's just going to come right underneath for a nice, easy read. I love this dig route against pretty much every coverage in the game. Um, the biggest thing with this is it's a matter of how fast your tight end is. Now in Mutt, you're gonna have a lot faster of a tight end. In Regs, you're gonna have a lot slower of a tight end. So what you can do with this is if you motion the tight end to the right, you see that it's gonna bring Evans inside. If you motion the tight end to the left, you're gonna see it's gonna take him all the way across the formation, which is not what we want, okay? So that's just something to kind of ex to think about. Um, another thing you can do is you could streak the tight end if you wanted to, and then you could motion Brown across um, on like an out route or whip route or something like that. Those are some options where you can basically create the same concept. So for example, if I wanted to do something like this, where I motion Brown across and I have him just jetting out to the flat, the reason I like this is because this dig route is super open if you do that, okay? Um, it's just gonna continue to help get the dig route open. But honestly, this is probably the best way to run this concept. Let me show it to you with the ball on the other side 
just so you can kind of get a, a feel for it. So if the ball's on the other hash mark, um, the reason I like running it to this side is because if they're running like cover two on the right, we've got an easy um, we've got an easy way to beat it. If they're running cover two on the right, if they're if but you'll see here this crosser. Now to the wide side of the field, he does a little bit better of a job. As you can see, he does a little better of a job there. So that's why I say, you know, if you want to glitch out the, the hard flat, then run it to the short side. You're going to glitch it out really, really easily uh, with an option route. So, so anyways, this uh, circle on the fade is really good for like some, some things that people will do is they'll run like cover four uh, to try to stop this. That's why this circle route is really, really good. Another thing you could do if you wanted to is you could put circle on a skinny post if you have hot route master. It's not a bad idea um, because if they're running cover four, you're going to basically kill it for one play touchdown. But the other thing that you've got going for you is this right here. I cannot stress to you enough how important that dig route is. So what they're going to have to start doing is they're going to have to go, they're going to basically have to essentially like fake go to the crosser and then go to the dig. Um, Cause you're seeing the yellows aren't going to get there, even though they're at 10 yards, which are pretty deep for yellows. So they're going to have to fake the crosser, and then they're going to go to the dig. What this is going to do, again, think about your concept here for just a minute. If he's all the way on that side of the field, now I'm just taking this check down read and getting 15 to 20 yards right up the middle with the back. Okay, so that's an easy read. If you don't do any hot routes, I do want to show this just really quickly. If you don't do any hot routes at all, your running back is going to do what's called a ghost route, like a block release and then ghost. Um, it's still going to serve the same. You'll see it still pulls the flat. So you don't have to do the option route. I just like to because if they run man-to-man, -man, now you've got a really good man beater. So, like, uh, let's say they're nickel 35 wide. You go man, They go man coverage. Um, this running back on this option route is a problem in man coverage. So you'll see this will mesh, basically, and as you can see, the running back's going for 15 up the sideline really easily. The other thing that this, and the cool part about this is now their user is really stressed in man-to-man, -man and you're not doing really anything that's that crazy. Um, the tight end drag never gets bumped, so you typically will have that read, and you can use some air truck tactics uh, to get up the field against man coverage on that. The other thing that you're going to be able to do, because you see here, I'm pressing and everything, but because it's a flexed out tight end, that linebacker does not get on him. So you're not getting jammed on the right side, which is huge. Now on the left side, this route to square, um, and I've got crazy heat right there, but the route to square on the left side, when you when he cuts underneath it, is a absolute laser. So let me just show you here. So snap the ball, we're just good pocket. They're right there on the cut, easy read against man to man. So your crosser beats it, your in route beats it, your drag beats it, and your option route beats it. Now let's say that they wanted to get a little aggressive and they wanted to send some heavy pressure at you and they want to like press coverage, right? Well, what's really cool is this option route is still going to win. As you can see there, easy read against me. The other thing that's really cool is let's say they're shading underneath. They're really getting aggressive. They're trying to jump these underneath routes. This route to circle is unbumpable off the rip. And if they shade underneath, you see you're going to get this nice rack catch over the top. So this play is really good. You honestly don't even need to make adjustments to it. I just like to put the running back on the option route because it's an additional really effective route against main to main coverage. Um, and then, like I said, if they're running some type of like cover four, let me just show you cover four, really nothing changes. Um, it's just that this this uh, fade route does a really good job of pulling the zone out of the way, and there's so much room to throw this crosser. So this play is honestly, it might just be the best play in the offense. But it's a lot of, lot of fun to run this play, and I would encourage you to add this to your playbook uh, if you're running New England. Now, if you want to get the rest of the New England Patriots offensive guide, uh, you want to get the entire offense step-by-step -step broken down, I've got a complete guide in the description for you that has literally broken down every formation in New England in depth. I think it's, honestly, it's got to be the best offense every single year. It's just so good of a playbook. Um, there's other formations that may be a little bit more effective, one or two, but the totality of the New England Patriots playbook consistently makes it the number one playbook, and it's been the number one playbook for a lot of years. So thanks for watching this video, and if you want to get the New England Patriots complete offensive guide, you can get that down in the description of the video.